Hello everyone, this is Emmy. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with y'all a little review of the One Canoe 2 Petaluma Planner. I believe these are sold out, but I still wanted to do a review of this planner because their planners are amazing. And next year when you or later this year rather, when you're thinking about getting a planner for 2022, I highly recommend picking up one of their planners. And so I'm gonna go through everything that's in the planner, but first of all, I'm gonna show you the outside. The outside is actually a painting, um, and I'll show you more about that in a minute. It's not hand like painted on the planner, but it is a painting. Um, and it comes with a, what are these called? The um, closure uh, elastic for the planner and it is gold and there's gold accents and then it has gold rings. It's spiral bound. And then this is everything that comes in the planner. So you've got monthly calendars, weekly calendars, dot grid layout, an interior pocket, acrylic ruler bookmark, and then there's pages for celebrations, holidays, a bucket list, goals, notes, go-to meals, and pantry essentials. So I got this to be my household and work planner um, for my website and my YouTube, my blog and my podcast. And then, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be using this for. And this is the company right here. It's One, one Canoe 2, sorry. Keep wanting to say One Two Canoe. I don't know why, but it's One Canoe 2. <clears throat> So, when you open it, this is what this looks like. And there's a card here. This is a little postcard that they put in here. And it is a small business. So, too small to fail, shop small. And it says, we have spent the past 10 years sharing our artwork and values with the world we're so excited to have you here as we look forward to the next 10 so they just celebrated their 10 year I guess but I just found out about them and um, I'm planning on buying from them more often because I do like supporting small businesses and yeah so this is about the artist that painted the painting that's on the front and I'm not going to read the whole thing but if you want to pause it and read it you can and her info is on the bottom as well as emailing the uh, One Canoe Two team. Also as always I have to <laughs> put a disclaimer in here this is not sponsored. I bought this because I really like this company and I wanted to support them. They did not send this to me and it is not a sponsored video. This is just a product that I really love that I want to share with y'all. So now that that's out of the way, <laughs> um, there's a spot here, if lost, please return to. I'm not sure if I'll use that. I don't think that I'll ever take this out of the house because um, I have a separate book that I use to jot down ideas and stuff when I'm out of the house. And then this is a ruler and it actually pops out so you can use it wherever you want in the planner. And then it just pops back in. Let me see if I can get it. So yeah, that's the ruler, and it looks like it's ten inch a ten inch ruler. So I'm I'm thinking the planner is about ten inches, and then let's see. Actually, let's see. It is ten by eight, so 
so or eight by ten rather so that is how big the planner is it's kind of a big planner I'm trying to get this in the right spot <laughs> um, but I like big planners for what I'm using it for so then you've got a folder here in the front I really like this green color it kind of reminds me of like the forest or going camping like a campy theme and it says all uh, all the flowers of all the tomorrows are in the seeds of today I really like that that's a cool quote and here you've got the year at a glance and they actually put 2022 and 2023 in here which is kind of neat let me just put that in the middle of the camera and yeah so that's the year at a glance and then we're moving on to celebrations this is where you can list the celebrations for each month this is the holidays the list of holidays which um, I'm surprised but they actually have Passover on here there's um, Yom Kippur and then Hanukkah but I'm gonna have to add the spring and fall feasts I celebrate or observe the um, biblical feasts and so I'll have to write them on here but this is pretty nice to have um, I'm probably gonna use this and highlight the days that my husband has off work because some of these days he has off like Christmas Day and yeah so he had off New Year's Day but that's over now and he has off a couple other days so it'll be nice to have that and I'll probably highlight those this is this side is a bucket list so there's a bunch of stuff already but then they left a whole section blank so you could add your own and then this is goals so you have a spot for goals in each section and something that I didn't mention is that the sections are actually dot grid paper and that's one of the reasons I really liked their planners. I love dot grid paper. And I couldn't find any other planners that had dot grid. I saw this one and I was like, oh, I'm in love. So, <laughs> but yeah, it has the dot grid paper. But this is for your goals. And then we have go-to meals, which I probably will use this section and then I think the last one is pantry essentials so I'm not sure if I'll use this because I do have a pantry essentials list already printed that I use to meal plan and stuff but this would be really useful if you're using this planner for kind of everything or your household planning um, I am using this for household planning, so who knows, I might actually put a list on here, but we'll see. So here's January, which January's almost over, so I'm probably, honestly, just going to rip January out of here. I have not decided yet, but I might just take all these pages out and start at February. But this is what the January looked like, and then see you the last month this month and then the f month ne the next month so you've all three there it's kind of like three months at a glance and then you have a place for notes on the side and that is also dot grid now we're getting into the weekly and here too I like how on all the week pages they have the um, calendars and it shows you what week you're on I really love that setup because I forget what weeks we're on um, so I'm happy that they put that there see see what I mean it changes so now we're in week 10 through 16 and they have it blocked off and this is dot grid also 
for the weekly. And then there's a note section at the back of each month with three pages for notes and they are also dot grid. And I also like how plain this planner is. It has like the basics, but then if you wanna add your own tabs, I'm kinda crafty. I would like to add my own tabs sometimes to planners and notebooks. And so I can add my own tabs to this and kind of make it my own and even add like stickers, uh, pictures or whatever. So I like that it's simple because I like to decorate my planners. I don't really like stuff that's already decked out in stuff. Some people do because they're not really decorators in their planners. They just kind of write and they like to have it already decorated, but I'm the opposite. So I like how simple this is. That's another reason that I chose this one. So there are quotes at the beginning of all of the months. This says the smallest deed is better than the greatest intention. And then of course all of the months are the same. You've got the weeks blocked off and then this month and next month on each week. There's March and then there's the notes section in the back, three pages for notes. So yeah, I really love this planner. This one says, I feel that there's nothing more genuinely artistic than to love people, Vincent Van Gogh. So I'll just flip through and I'll show you all the quotes that were in here because I haven't even looked at them. Oh, this is a proverb. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul. Proverbs 16.24. And then Lewis Carroll. One of the secrets of life is that all that is really worth doing is what we do for others. These are some good quotes, y'all. I'm not sure what the secret to happiness is. But I'm sh pretty sure it all starts with going outside. <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> I'm laughing because of my testimony. I immediately thought of the Appalachian Trail. If y'all didn't know, God told me to hike the Appalachian Trail, and that is the trip that where I became a believer in Yeshua. Uh, Jesus Christ so that that immediately made me giggle a little because yeah <laughs> that is the secret to happiness well Jesus is but that's why that made me laugh <laughs> so this is July the most wasted of all days is one without laughter I like that so then we have August I know nothing with any certainty, but the sight of the stars makes me dream. Here's September's. Kindred spirits are not so scarce as I used to think. It's splendid to find out there. It's splendid to find out there are so many of them in the world. L.M. Montgomery. And if you don't know, that is the person who wrote Anne of Green Gables. And that's where kindred spirits comes from, I think. Don't quote me on that. And then, how often I found where I should be going only by setting out for somewhere else. Buckminster Fuller. I don't know who that is. I'm going to have to look that one up. So this is Robert Holden. The real gift of gratitude is what Oh, the real gift of gratitude is that the more grateful you are, the more present you become. I'm having a little trouble reading this font because it's so scribbly, <laughs> but that's okay. This is Ralph Waldo Emerson. The ornament of a house is the friends who frequent it. Oh, I like that. 
So yeah, that was December's. So yeah, and then I don't think there is anything in the back. I think there's just a note section for December. So yeah, that is the planner. And I really love this planner, y'all. It is so pretty and it's simple. And I don't know, I'm just in love with their planners. So, so yeah, let me know what y'all think of this planner in the comments below. I will be linking their website and information in the description box below for you if you want to check out their website. They have other things on their website rather than planners. So yeah, if you want to check them out, they are a small company and I really love supporting small brands. So so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this review of the Petaluma Planner from One Canoe 2. And yeah, I hope to see y'all very soon. Shalom and blessings to y'all. I love y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye!